India is an adventurous paradise. You head out for a holiday, which quickly turns into a survival situation. A dream turns into a nightmare. I'm thirsty, I'm tired, I'm hungry and I'm lost. Shelter, water and food become a priority. A fire to keep you warm. But how? I'm Chandan Lahiri from OTS Survival School. I'll give you some tips and show you some tricks to use in a self-reliant situation. Do not think problems can only happen to other people. It can happen to you. If you look around, there's nothing to tell me which way to go, except the sun. And if I have to go in a particular cardinal point, north, east, west, south, I can use the sun to pretty much tell the direction. But if it's cloudy, if there's no sun, there might be a problem. And you might go down this way or might go down this way, whereas you should have gone down this way. And suddenly, 100 yards down, you turn around and you don't recognize anything and you're lost. And that'll put you in a survival situation. So what you need to do is ensure that you know where you have come from and where you're going. And one very useful piece of equipment which enables us to do that and is becoming increasingly accessible, increasingly cheap, very handy, portable, that's something that you can carry, and that is a GPS. With a GPS like this, which is a small little thing, and there are smaller, smaller models, you can pop it into a pocket, and with this, it will track exactly the route that you have come. So in case you get lost, all you need to do is look at your track, and you'll know that that's a place that you've just crossed. And if you keep tracking back, you'll reach where you started from. Let me show you how to use this. Now, what you need to do is obviously first switch it on. And different models have got different switches from where to switch it on. Once it switches on, it'll track onto the satellites and tell you your exact location at the point that I'm standing here. And when I start going out on a trek, what I need to do is keep navigation on. As you can see now, it's acquiring the satellites. And as it acquires at least four satellites, it's ready to navigate. And it'll prompt, it'll say, ready to navigate. Which means that it'll keep on logging every step that you take. It's already given my current location. As long as I've marked this particular spot, I can use the GPS to come right back here. And I'm not lost at this point. I'm starting from close to the roadhead and I'm going to be heading out into the mountains and as I walk it'll form a dotted line which is going to be the track that I'm taking so in case I get lost or it becomes evening or I get injured I already have the track that I will be taking and once I have that I'm not lost anymore I'll use the GPS and find my way back that's how important a GPS let me take a walk and I'll show you how the track is formed. I'll sit down here and then you can join me. If you can see these dotted lines, the squiggly lines, that's the route that I've taken. And where I started from, this is where I am. Now, all these things are squiggly for two reasons. One is, it's a mountain road, mountain path. So I've been going up and down. And this tells me where I've been going. Up a mountain, down a mountain, zigzagging, crisscrossing. Where I've been doubling back. And the exact route that I've been taking. And if you look around me, you'll realize how easy it is to get disoriented and get lost. That's how important the GPS is. And remember, it can happen to you. Learn to adapt, improvise, innovate, and overcome. To learn more tips and tricks, visit this site. I'm Chandan Lahiri, and I hope to see you soon at the OTS Survival School. Leave nothing but footprints. Bring back nothing but memories.